welcome to the latest edition of Nintendo TV News. This week we're going all three-dimensional with some exclusive news from the Nintendo 3DS event that was held last week in Amsterdam. We've got an exclusive hands-on with all the 3DS games as we go inside this amazing event. Well, 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 what a week it's been for Nintendo and the 3DS. This week, Nintendo TV jetted over to Amsterdam for an exclusive European event for Nintendo's brand new revolutionary console. UK broadcaster Jonathan Ross presented the event and was helped along by some of Nintendo of Europe's biggest names and some true legends of gaming, including Mr. Street Fighter himself, Yoshinori Ono. Amongst all the excitement and the exciting reveals, European gamers finally got a date for the 3DS launch. We'll be able to get our eager little mitts on one come the 25th of March this year. That's just 10 weeks away. Nintendo TV will be covering all the latest news in the lead up to what is the biggest launch in Nintendo's history. The effects of the 3DS really do have to be seen to be believed. If we had some way of beaming our thoughts through to your brain right now, then we would. Though, obviously, you then find out about our secret love for knitting, so, so that's out of the question. The best thing is, though, it's not just 3D without glasses. The 3DS is so much more than just playing games in 3D. Some of the features unveiled at the official event will knock your little socks off. The 3DS is bursting with so many amazing features that it would be impossible to contain them all in one single episode of Nintendo TV. So, in the coming weeks, we'll be bringing you our guides to the best features on offer in the 3DS, so that by the time it launches on the 25th of March, you'll all be experts on this amazing console. Although the 3DS is packed with brand new features, we know you guys and gals also want to hear about the games. So, what were the highlights at the event? Nintendo TV and the fellas from the official Nintendo magazine got to grips with every single title on show. Here's our picks of the best Amsterdam had to offer. I think all the sports games are going to be great because, I mean, I've got a 3D TV at home and the thing we most enjoy watching on, there's not that much content for it yet, but all the sport, you, I mean, I'm not even a golf fan, for example. I sat and watched loads of golf one day just because it looks so good in 3D. Tennis works great, football's great in 3D, so the Pro Evolution Soccer is going to be incredible, I think. And I hope they bring out some tennis games soon as well, like Top Spin or something. Definitely the highlight of the day was uh, Resident Evil The Mercenaries. Um, it's, it's the same mode as you get in Resident Evil 4 but uh, with the added depth that you get with 3DS. Um, it just makes the action a lot more intense. Uh, it's all about building combos, so that brings an extra level of tension to it and the, the, uh, the effects of the sort of blood coming at you from, uh, from the baddies is uh, awesome, so definitely the mercenaries. Yeah, the highlight of the day for me was probably Super Street Fighter 4 3D edition. Um, I thought it was amazing. I've been playing Street Fighter games all my life, so I was curious to see how this would work. It was a bit suspicious, but um, it's spot on. It's absolutely spot on to the arcade version. Um, and even the over-the-shoulder camera view of the new angle works really uh, so much better than I thought it should do. So I'm always a kind of traditional side-scrolling guy, but uh, the side-on view, but it's, it's what's really well. Really impressed. I am playing Kid Icarus, which is a kind of reboot of an old franchise, but it's a very different game to the one I remember, and it seems a lot, to be honest, more playable than the old one was. Not just because it's 3D, but obviously that gives you a whole new effect, but I think they've, they've changed the game substantially anyway from the old one. But the 3D stuff on this kind of game, where you're kind of moving forward and having that depth of feel really helps uh, you play better, but also gives you a richer experience. Well, that should be enough to keep you going for the time being. We're all off to sit in a dark room and prepare for our minds to be blown on March the 25th. Next week, we're getting all puzzly with our DSs in Mario vs Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem and hitting the courts and the ice for Mario Sports Mix. We'll have exclusive footage from these games and more in next week's Nintendo TV.